Welcome to the tutorial of the fee assistant software. This software is designed to generate uh, your monthly bills for your students so that uh, you can uh, have a record in your computer as well as follow up on payments and uh, collections. Makes it easier for you to handle this. Um, as you can see from the screenshot here we have a list of uh, students on the top grid and uh, as we scroll the, through the names the bottom grid shows us the invoices or the bills for each individual student. Now if you want to have a closer look at uh, a student, their details, all you have to do is double click on the name and another box comes up with uh, the student name, the parent name and also the fees associated with that uh, student. Likewise the bills grid, if we double click a bill and uh, it will tell us for what date that where a bill was issued, the invoice number and uh, what the bill was for and we can also record payments and so forth this will go into a bit later but uh, before we can uh, do all this we have to tell the computer what fees we have in the school so to do this the first thing that we want to do is set up the fees so how we do this is we go to the maintenance menu and we go to the fee detail settings box here for demonstration purpose we have set up uh, quite a number of uh, fees already but if you want to add your own you can just click the add button and here we will type in a new fee uh, English lessons okay we can uh, tell the computer what type of uh, fee it is whether it's a monthly fee or it's a one-time fee or it's a registration fee if registration fees are only charged when uh, the student enrolls for the first time so when you make the entry into the computer for the enrollment the registration that fee is generated and uh, given a bill number so let us uh, just uh, set this fee as a monthly fee and you can uh, tell the system from when to when this fee will be applied for example I can just apply it from uh, January until June if I want to or July or I can extend it to uh, September or maybe right away to the whole year and of course we have to tell the computer how much the fee is so here on the right hand side you can see that the computer has generated for each month this is how much the fee will be 230, 230 and so forth let's say for some particular reason in May I won't be charging 230 I'll be charging a bit less all I have to do is just make a manual adjustment here maybe 180 and and save this so a new fee has been added English lessons so if you want to see that fee again we can double click of course and we can make uh, other adjustments if you want to if not we just uh, leave it as, as, as it is so here we have the list of all the fees that are available in our system so this can be applied to the students later on I'll show you how to do that okay before we can add students though we must add the parent the, or the guardian so how we do this is we go to the first button here the parent detail now you see there are already a, a number of names there in our system so we don't want to make double entries do we so what we do is we start typing in the name of the parent say for this demonstration sake it's a new parent now as we type you notice that in the bottom grid all the other names disappear but if let's say we already have a name there and we type it in again of course the na that name will come up but again if we change the telephone number this could be a different Mr. Lee so we can create a new account a button comes up here with a new account so again just uh, see this feature you can also identify the parent by the telephone number and uh, get the number uh, get the parent details so if we want to add a new student to this parent we have on record we can just double click here and we can add a new student but if not if it is a new parent we have this new uh, button here which helps us create a new record so we click here and what we type there has come up new parent we can just give a few more details if we want to uh, and we can save that 
so as you can see a new parent has come up all right before we save that we can have to add children to it so we add a child and we can say a new child male or female and we can give a class code if you want to okay so just now we set up the the fees here is where we add the fees we click this button here and we have a list of fees that come up so let's say we want this child to be included in uh, English lessons you can double click and we add uh, sports day then we add uh, stationery okay then we make a uh, save the record now it's coming up here registration bill not yet printed because this is the first time the student is being registered and if you have entered a fee for the registration this will be charged uh, now so we can uh, either go ahead and charge it or we can delete the fee and not charge the registration fee but we'll go ahead and print the print the invoice see the invoice comes up here this is the bill for that registration fee okay we can print it so once we've done all this we can uh, go ahead and save here on the invoice schedule we can have a monthly invoice or we can combine several invoices together with the first month so but we will keep it as a monthly invoice and we will save it now if you want to search for students you can go ahead and click this button start typing in the name and it will filter out all those who come under the name